look here, there's an obelisk. We don't know how to get there, but it's next to a French castle here. So this is the ultimate proof that the, the aristocracy, they come from the pharaohs. So here's a big obelisk in front of you know, there's even a row in there, you know, in the castle. So who still doesn't believe me? The aristocracy, you know. Where they come from the pharaohs. What do you want, you know? This is the ultimate proof. So this is Isis and the obelisk, you know, that represents the uh, the sex, uh, the sexual organ of his uh, of her man Osiris. But we don't dare to go further because you know they'll call it the cops here. They'll feel it. I'll come back another day. You know, with two Frenchies, they don't dare. I got myself. So you think the pharaohs? just disappeared you know this they're not here anymore so this is on a highway in France look at it uh, so if you look at it from one side there's one obelisk with the sun hieroglyph on top of it and if you look from the other side there's uh, there's one of them or two of them like Yashin and Boas and at the end over there there's another one All of it. And, uh, they're still here. It's the aristocracy. They became the aristocracy and now they're ruling in Freemason lodges. Church in France with a uh, funny cross in front of it. It's hard, you know, to wake up in a tent. I'm sweating like a pig you know, in the sun here. And I'm, uh, I'm sleeping next to this Moloch or whatever it is, you know. Man, it's hot here. Yo. So here it is. This is the Moloch. And, uh, you know, in the middle here, you would say this is the sun. There are 12 pillars. And I was wondering why 12, why not 13? It should be 13, you know. There's the capstone. You, sh you would say this is the moon. But this is the star or the planet where they come from. And this is the soul. You know, so this is the third death, 12 pillars, and this one is number 13. It's always 13 because of the Osiris story. I already told it to you. And uh, Ba Fo Me in the demotic language it means Ba it's a soul, Fo it means to arrive, Me it's the pyramid. So the soul arrives in the pyramid from here, from wherever these creatures come from, into the pyramid here. Uh, and th th this symbolizes a pyramid, this is the Moloch. And uh, it's, it's highly uh, signi significant, highly. Uh, Occult. I've never seen a thing like this before. It's in the middle of a forest here, you know, it's all there's all forest around here. Found a nice lawn here. So well, it looks like a camping place here. Yeah? <laughs> sort of a motorway passing by and I don't know. You know. So um, this is the arri it, it symbolizes the arrival of souls. Well, we already know that the aristocracy and the ones ruling us through the New World Order, you know, they're not really human. They're giving us all these wars. They're not like us. And their base is Switzerland, where we are very near to Switzerland. And, uh, yeah. Well, the, uh, the Mediterranean is packed and the lakes as well. You know, I've got the whole river here for myself, you know. How beautiful. It's just, I never heard of it. It's, I think it was called Las A-S-S-I. Uh, there's a lot of water coming through in the, in the winter time, I think. So, I mean, that's deep enough for me. I just lie in it, you know, and take it easy. Omi takuyasin. Yeah, I'm swimming in another river called La Durance. 
Beautiful here. Yeah. So big, there's nobody here. You know? yeah. Really big here. Yeah. La Durance. Very nice. Cold, nice, clear water. So this here is the uh, famous French river called Ah! Damn, it's biting me. It's a hornet. Uh, called uh, Le Verdon. You see, it's beautiful, really. France is so beautiful, a lot of nature. So this is really in the very south of France. And the castle is just on top. I slept next to the river here. And um, yeah, no wonder the Templars wanted to stay here. Little paradise. Oh, me. So the place where the Templars castle is, <coughs> but in um, Griot, in Griot, it's uh, in the southeast of uh, France, so not very far from Switzerland. And they are together with Bad Krozing. If I do remember well, that's where they had some uh, high school shootings in Bad Krozing. So you, you can feel the atmosphere here, it's, it's loaded, you know, um, it's really loaded here. Yeah. It's, it's a center of Freemasonry and Templars. So it says the road of the Hospitallers, you know, the ones who before the Templars, so apparently it's here. Apparently this is a Templar's castle in Griou. Oh, let's have a look. So apparently this is a Templar's castle where they're doing festivities inside. It says Chateau de Templier. Right, let's have a look. It's on the hill here in Griou. You see the whole valley. More from, like, from the other side. Oh well, that's all, you know. Let's go in. So tonight they're going to show a film here and here, so there's not much to see actually inside the castle. So it's controlling the entire valley from the castle. The Templars did, yeah. Oh, and here's the other side. Well, there's not much to see actually. See the other side of the, the other valley. So it's a good place, very strategic, where they can control it all. And uh, well, that's all. So there was the war between the second and the third sons and the first sons uh, against the uh, primogenitura. They also wanted to rule. And uh, out of these guys came the Freemasons, and now uh, they, they ruled the, the entire world. Pharaoh, me. So that's Pharaoh's second and third, fourth sons, the Templar's castle. This is a Templar's castle in Greu, in the south of France. Not very much to see, anyway. So out of these guys here were born the Freemasons, their political wing, to consolidate their power in a time of peace, after they had conquered everything. And uh, before that they founded Switzerland, just 15 years before the French king arrested them all. Well, not really all. So it was these guys here who organized the French Revolution and the Russian Revolution. They uh, terrorized the people and they starved the people using, by using Swiss mercenaries who were at the La Bastille, torturing French citizens. And so the people would uh, stand up against the king and uh, decapitate him. And that's what happened. So then the second and the third sons and the New World Order, the Freemasons, they took over out of the Templars, which is their military wing. So when the attacks took place in, uh, in Nice on uh, July 14th on their national holiday, uh, which is not a national holiday by the, you know, for the French Revolution, 
it's actually a um, it's a reminder for them you know that they um, uh, for the transition from the old world order to the new world order and actually I was hitchhiking the whole day going to Italy and uh, at a certain moment in the in the afternoon uh, on July the 14th though I saw about 20 big police vans it was crawling with cops so they had an exercise going on that very day you know. I'm so sorry I didn't film it I don't have any more place to upload it and I'm really tired I was hitchhiking and I, I just didn't do it I just didn't care you know yeah and I I didn't think about it really I thought well, it was just another bunch of cops and then uh, at nine o'clock a South African he took me hitchhiking to Napoli in Italy and uh, one hour later was the attack in, in Paris it was the, there was, an, uh, as always, a police um, exercise. I saw them. I even talked to one of the cops, who was quite friendly, actually. And uh, in Italy, when we passed by, next to the village where we were staying, we passed by with the car, uh, with my kids. We saw the arrest of uh, three uh, suspected uh, terrorists. Well, there were only some guys well, who showed, uh, who lent his... Um, I, I put the link somewhere, maybe, if I can find it again. We would we just passed by when it happened. <laughs> it's funny, I, I, just being there all the time, you know. Real funny. Yeah. But in Italy, there were just some guys who, um, some drug dealers, you know, who, who, a guy who who lent out his phone to somebody else and then left a picture of a of a woman with a um, with an assault rifle. Uh, Islamic stuff, and that's all, apparently. Well, this is what it all started with, and this is why we have the terrorist attacks going on. The Templars. So that was uh, a castle by the Hospitallers, and later on the Templars came out of them, and out of the Templars came the Freemasons in Switzerland, and the Parliaments, Parler et Mentir. So here in the town where the, uh, the Templars castle is, is here the, the symbol of the Templars and the Freemason thing here on there, which, which I have on my skirts. And also got this, uh, the crown here, all these coat of arms everywhere in the streets. Uh, I got an empty two litre bottle and uh, <laughs> you know, you see the traces going to the, you know, the fountain here. So I just took a shower in the middle of the village. We're looking a bit odd though. There's the mass office, and it's just next to the mass office, well who cares? Tourist information is here. <laughs> it's wet my shower, yeah. Uh, tourist information, lot of tourists, what's he doing, yeah? Church. And the world domination. I'm still here where the old castle is. Here it says, hey. Rue des Templiers, the Road of the Templars. It's an interesting place. So, in the castle tonight, they're going to have uh, some free uh, films tonight. And it's the night of the, uh, of the stars. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Templars Castle, the Freemasons, that's where it all started and then I went to Switzerland. So I'm here in the te inside the Templars Castle having some, they're having court metrage, some short stories. So it's all free, so it's amazing. Me, Sean Ross, being in the Templars Castle, all free. <laughs> Imagine. There's the castle by night. Fantastic. What a fantastic evening there. You won't believe what all happened. <laughs> uh, I went up the stage you know, and talked about the pharaohs. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs>
me, <clears throat> Pharaoh. So here's again the, um, the uh, Tempest Castle. <clears throat> Uh, as it was impossible, you know, I walked up the hill as it was impossible to put my tent in. I didn't even want to sleep on all these stones. I found this table here. So I slept on the table. This morning, the, uh, the farmer of the olive trees here, he came uh, and talked to me very nice, you know, and we talked for hours. Didn't say a word, you know, in Switzerland they would make a hell of a problem out of it. You're sleeping on the table like this, you know. It's so different, you know. Yeah. So, interesting, he told me a lot of things, very interesting about the region and the history. So, Templar's Castle from the other side of the, um, another angle. This is uh, in history a very important place where it all started, the New World's Order, what we are living now. This is the base of it here, before they started, uh, founded Switzerland. It's maybe the place where it really started and it's very strategic too you look at the hills and you know and down there is a river called Le, Le Verdon on the other side is a river called La Durance and it's all getting together here so it's very fruitful you know and, uh, and those rivers were that they all went to the Mediterranean to Marseille and they were, they were using uh, rafts in those days, uh, which the old man explained to me again. So they had access from here, uh, inside the country, uh, to the sea, you know, transporting furs and, and, and wood and, and all sorts of things. And of course, uh, at the sea, the Templars had an enormous fleet you know, going to Jerusalem. So um, they even took people on the rafts, I suppose, to go and, and fight their war for their money, just like all the wars, just like the Second World War. We fought the wars and they put it all in Switzerland, all the money, and got rich, you know. The Nazis, the Nazism of the rich, they, uh, they, they, they mobilized the Nazism of the poor. And they fought their war so they could, could get richer. Now the same thing is going on in France. Le Pen, the Le Front National, they're, they're, they're billionaires and, and lawyers. And they tried to mobilize the French people, you know, through those uh, false flag terrorist attacks uh, to vote for them so that they can get rich. You can even see Marine Le Pen with a, with, a, uh, with a Swiss flag. She says, I want a Swiss system. That means the Templar system, the new world order. It's very interesting here, you know, the coat of arms where the, uh, where the castle is here, Griou Le Bain. The Templars Castle. So it's again red, white, and blue, the colors of the uh, the pharaonic crowns. And on top is the Pertasser, so that's uh, next to the crown and on top, which is the um, uh, lower Egypt, so the Pertasser, meaning the red house. Well, you see it's red here. And that's where the uh, ancient Egypt, most of it is, the big pyramids and Alexandria. And then down there, you know, is the White House, you know, the, there's a lion, uh, a, a, a wolf in it. So they are the, um, probably um, the main drive behind the New World Order and the, the military wing, you know, like the White House in America. And, and, and down there is the people, you know, the, 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 the de depicted as, uh, as squirrels. Uh, the the war crown, so they do the wars for them, you know, or a bunch of a bunch of squirrels, an army of squirrels, and these are the wolves, the generals, and then there is the crown. See, it's, it they always put it everywhere, all this pharaonic stuff, you know, and this coat of arms must have been there, you know, for, I don't know, hundreds of years, thousands of years, I don't know. And if you look at the map, so here's the Templars castle here. Here I filmed the uh, satanic, uh, the pentagram in front of the church. And inside the church there is a, um, um, 
a painting of the founder of the um, um, of the uh, the order of Malta. So it's all in the same region here on the motorway. There's this all these obelisks I filmed for you, and here I filmed in the backyard of a castle a big obelisk. So it's all in the same area, next to some rivers. So it's quite you know, Lac de Saint Croix, the Holy Cross Lake. Um, yeah. So you see, it's all gathered together here. I'm not going to film at all. So here in this church again with the pentagram in front of it, next, uh, next to the town where the, uh, the Templars cross is. This guy is called Gerard Tank, this one Tank. And uh, he's the founder of the Hospitallers. And it's maybe 10 kilometers from where the, uh, the Templars castle is here. And so he's the founder of the Order of Malta the guy here. So this is this church here in Manosk with a with a pentagram on it. Yeah. Yeah, look there's the compass on the door opposite where the uh, there's the square. Look at in the middle there. There's a square. And here in the middle it's the sun hieroglyph there. So this is a wooden door uh, on, on the other side of the uh, of that church, where the uh, uh, where the pentagram is on the on the ground there. Oh, wow! Yeah, Mrs. Isaac is sitting with her ass on a goat or on a lamb. Now, what does that mean? <laughs> you know, if you walk in the night, you see a lot of more things. You know, I don't know. What is that? Suppose probably symbolizes man isn't it you know he's sitting with her ass on man man is the lamp yeah oh man why else would she be sitting on a lamp or on a goat oh, it's weird eh probably means she's dominating man you know as the isis uh, statues on the omaha beach right the uh the horus matrix so I can't see the LCD screen because of the sun, but it's all the same area. It's like here, you see, next to Italy in the south of France. So here was the Templars castle, and here was the other, you know, the castle with the, um, the obelisk in the yard. And just next to it, here, was the airplane crash. It's all very near to each other. The uh, German wings, see, I, I drew a little airplane on it, on the uh, Le Col de Mario. It's all next to the Templars. So I'm here in an old Roman town called Rie, and this is uh, one of the, the last three uh, Batister, they call it Batister, Paleo Chrétien, uh, where the old Christians were uh, baptized. There's only three, three left in the world, and this is uh, from the second century after, um, um, after Christ. <clears throat> On the other side, you know, there's a church with a uh, with a pyramid on top. There's some Roman columns there. Well, I can't see anything. Yeah. I right, go and have a look at it. There it is. So there's a lot of Roman you know, digging is here. Across my backpack. Well, Rome is is pharaonic. Is pharaoh. You know, they were Cle Cleopatra. You know. They took over control, but even before that, it was pharaonic. <coughs> See, Tsar, as in the sarcophagus, king and demotic, was pharaoh, like the rest of them. I already told you about that. Pyramid, the pharaohs, with a ball on it. World domination. Ah. <laughs> There's the cock, La Marianne. It represents uh, Horus, the child of Isis, the national symbol of France. Um, I'm getting tired of it. I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's an octagon there in the middle. You know, and I think there are eight pillars. So. 
this is already octagon you know the second century after Jesus you know it was already under the demonic cross of the Vatican so <laughs> you know it was not I didn't have to do any more anything with real Christianity anymore how many are there one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight pillars and because they know what the eight pillars mean and there's also they they put their light there in an octagonal form and it's also very hard to film here they put the fleur de lis on the uh, on the uh, on the pillars on top of it so i hope you can see that so this is a baptistem baptister uh, it shows here what it is uh, baptister for the baptism very old but it was already under the demonic demonic cross yeah, they call this game la boule romaine it means the roman balls pretty hard ball probably have been playing it here in this town like for uh, 2000 years but i've got no doubt that it is uh, This is some holy source again of uh, Saint Maxime in Rie, where the Roman village is. I'm going to the obelisk. They say here's the Roman settlement of Rie. And you can see how you control the entire valley here. It's incredible. And on top of the hill here, they built a. Uh, I thought it was an obelisk. That's why I came here up here. And so this is just a spy post, you know, there's the, uh, the Catholic Church there, they built a, uh, a chapel here. But you, know, you can still see the army is still around here, you know, traditionally, here, there, and there, antennas. And there, Air Force, the army, there, you see. Traditionally, and so they could have a good life, you know, like conquering Europe here in the valley and just control the entire entrance and the entire way through here, being just put off a few lookout posts on the mountains here on the hills. And uh, yeah, so it's in Rie, that's R I E Z. So now I'm going to take that road there to go to their Templars castle there. You know, there were no actually before the middle ages there were no european castles so that means there were no very real european kings at all because those pharaohs who called themselves the kings later on they all came on the back of the roman army and then they started building castles like in the middle ages and in the, you know, the year 500 maybe but not before, there were no castles, they're all pharaohs, there are no European kings and queens, they just don't exist, they never were, they never existed, you know, before the year zero when the Roman came, when the Romans came, it's all foreign power ruling over us, the Romans, see, Tsar, sarcophagus the king and demotic the Tsar and uh, there are no European kings wake up they never were it's all a lie just another castle it's called uh, Alemania Germany Alemania used to be uh, some sort of a uh, Goddess, you can see the world domination. There's all sort of animals here. So this is from the 12th century. And now I'm going to a temple castle. Look, it's a Hungarian van, and they have written the S as big because there's lots of Nazis in Hungary, and always have been, you know. Oh, why? You know, next to it here on the cemetery, 
Yeah, there's a big obelisk here. You see? Oh, where is it? No, I don't see it. Yeah, there it is. Big obelisk. Pharaohs. SS for Isis and the obelisk for a husband for Osiris. It's all, it's everywhere. Well, here's a coat of arms of Valensol. The tourist information here with a Templars V on it. So uh, the, the castle up there, of course, it's a Templars castle. So that's the name of the place. That's why it's Sol. Sole, the sun, that's why there's the sun probably in the coat of arms. The sun and the coat of and the, uh, the Templars V. Wow, Ri and the V. And there is a castle here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a look at the castle. Even here on the fountain, there's the sun and the V. Oh. And Isis, let's kill the man in the Horus Matrix and we'll have the. So here's the octagon, as I've shown you in my videos, like Octagon, the Empire of Darkness, in an old church here in the east of France. This is the Queen of Spain, very dangerous woman. Very, extremely dangerous, with some horns on it. I don't know what was that, snake, pharaonic stuff. Well, pharaohs anyway, you know, the other bloke here. Uh, this part in the east of France was, had been occupied by the uh, uh, by, the, by the Spanish. Yeah. It's an interesting church, I'll show you. It's all like round here. So there's the moon. It's like the crescent moon or half moon. And they say there's a half moon because the earth is in between it and it makes a shadow all the way to there. It's not true, you know. Because the sun is out, it's day. I mean, look, look at the shadow here. The sun is shining directly at the moon, so I, by that theory, I should be seeing a whole moon. Which I don't. Huh? It's a lie. So how, how come there's a crescent moon, or a half moon? How come? with the crown and the balls you know for the world domination it's all there you know a lion and you know and here it even says aquapark isis yo la commanderie that's a uh, of the templars a stronghold of the templars in french it's called la commanderie so this is in dole i'm in dole d-o-l-e next to salin le bain where the other templars were it's a real stronghold here, it's really, yeah, if you look at all the images. And... So this is another Japan, um, Jesuit chapel here, looks horrible. And uh, in Dol, so next, next to the other uh, Jesuit ones in Salin le Bain. it's not very far, it's full of Jesuits here. Here it says, Chapelle de Jesuit Jesuits, yeah. Well, let's have a look at the other side. There's the sun hieroglyph here. And uh, uh, there's another Jesuit church here. The chapel. Well, it was a bit big for a chapel. It says Collège de Jesuites. There was a, so that means there was a like a school for them, you know. It's not very far from Switzerland and next to the other place in uh, Salin le Bain. Yeah. I'm going to read it all in English here. Jesuits. Well, you see, it looks a bit like a castle, but, you know, the Jesuits have a general, which is the, the actual Pope, who said, well, uh, you know, homos, it's okay, you know. And this is supposed to be a guy who believes in the creation of God. 
As you can see, this is dull, this is the place here. And they even have a uh, Place des Templiers, Halle des Templiers, Rue des Templiers, Commanderie. Ah, uh, they've been here strong, all right. Yeah, it's the House of the Templars here. So this is official, you know. All sort of Templar stuff here. And there's a restaurant, it's 222. I don't know about it. It's probably a code of the Templars. It was like a little chateau, like, you know. Uh, Templars thing here. Here as well. The Templar stuff. Now I'm going to show you the uh, the road and the uh, of the Templars here being watched all over. It's horrible here, everywhere. You know. So I'm back at this Templars restaurant here, and you know if you if you're walking, you know you 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 think about things, you know, and then I suddenly uh, after being having been to this Templars uh, stronghold, I suddenly knew, and this is on the other side of the of the of the of the line, you know, going to there. So 222, two, two. if you think of three numbers, of course, you think of 666, six, six. yeah? And 2 plus 2 plus 2 is a 6. And if you turn it around, you know, I turn it around. See if we go. Oh, it's still, the camera adjusts itself. But anyway, uh, maybe if I do it like this. Maybe you see it, but anyway, if you turn it around, what's up, it's down, and what's down, it's up. That's their law, isn't it? So, uh, if you turn this thing around, you almost get a six. You know, look here. This is a six. So, it does say 666, and of course, you don't want to call your restaurant 666. And maybe, like, in the Middle Ages, they, you know, they, or, you, you can write a two, like, an upside down six, you know. So, then again, here's this Templar stuff here. Maison du Templier. And I've never seen a town with so many cameras all over. Look at it. Because this is still a stronghold. This is where they started, which, where the Freemasons are. This is where it all is. So I'm here in the 222 restaurant, the 666 restaurant, and it was a chapel. Imagine a chapel with 666. You're being filmed everywhere in, inside, so well, you don't really want to eat here. There's another camera. And another one. So you can see it was a chapel. Look at it. And this is an area where they like to. Um, no, well, anyway. Uh, it is a chapel. You can see that. Interesting. So this was a Templar's chapel on the other side of the, of the road going to the. Uh, it even says Chapelle de Templier. Look. Chapelle de Templier. And here I got. Uh, four times the two, but that makes eight octagon. So an octagon is the um, the number of the Templars. You know, so they got both here. They got the six 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 here, and they got the the octagon here. So now I understand. An octagon, you know, if you draw a line around the Templars cross or a Swiss cross, you get an octagonal form. So this is octagon. That's why there's a two two two. Yeah, oh, fantastic. So this is their card of the uh, the Chapel of the Templars. It's a real Chapel of the Templars. In this place, it's called Dole. And um, this is it's a code. You know, they they gave it. It's a strange name for a restaurant, isn't it? Just four numbers. And outside, it's three numbers. So yeah, it's a six 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 outside, and their card inside, it's two. Plus two, plus two, plus two, it's eight, that's octagon. Uh, well, I guess who's going to eat here? What, what, what kind of a six is this here? Um, so this is the inside of the chapel as I filmed before. So this is their card. And they say that this means octagon is good. There you go, it's everywhere. Just look out, folks. The chapel of La Chapelle de Templier, the chapel of the Templars, they're still there. You think they really left, you know, they, they go out and eat, you know, they're still there, everywhere in the world. And out of them came the Masons, and they're going to eat here. Yeah, it's the real estate, Agence de Templier, you know, the real estate of the Templars. And buy a, buy a castle here, 
Uh, they're watching us again. Here in Dowell it's horrible. They're watching us everywhere. Oh, what a place, man. So let's find the, the, uh, the road of the Templars. It's all very aristocratic in this Templars place. Apparently this is a school, a college, you know, kids going in there. You know, it's all very aristocratic here in Dole. Look at it. All over. Well, they even have a big pyramid with a capstone here in Dol, you know, next to the uh, to the city wall here. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting out of here. I want to stay here. Place des Templiers, the square of the Templars. Oh, there it is. There's the road of the Templars. We can have a look. So this enormous place is called La Commanderie. The Commanderie in France is a stronghold of the Templars. So there's no doubt they were here, you know, if you see all the cameras here, I mean, they are the towns they do first, you know, their towns, you know, for the, uh, the total control thing, you know, because they are the new world order. So, here around it, you know, there's an old bridge here. So this enormous complex here, this is called uh, La Commanderie, where they have concerts now and, you know, so still the place where it's all going on, like, you know. Next to the river, of course, very strategical. And, well, Freemasons, Templars, it's all here. So it already started with the Roman bridge, which is just behind here. Romans, it's the same thing, you know, it's all pharaohs. Yeah, you know, read it yourself. Uh, it's, this, this is a stronghold, and this, this is the building again, you know. The, uh, the Templar Stronghold, this is what they call it basically. The Templar Stronghold. Music, concerts and all that. You know. I'll show you the bridge which is just behind here. So there's an old Roman bridge it just mentioned here. I suppose people bathe here in the summer. It's a clean river. It's a beautiful area really in the east, northeast of France here. And there's the, uh, the Templar Stronghold again. Here it says Rue de Templier, the road of the Templars. And look at the coat of arms of Dole, you know, the sun, the sun Templars, you remember, in Switzerland, they killed them all. And white is here represented, you know, the White House is represented by gold. A lion, blue for the war crown, red for the original pharaohs the, uh, in Lower Egypt, the Pertasser. You know, actually, sometimes they make the red smaller because there are less of them which are the, uh, the first sons, the primogenitura, red. As white is more the, uh, all the descendants, also the second and the third sons and everything. And this thing here, they call it, uh, I think this is the one, the Hall of the Templars. Let's see if we can find a shield for you. So there it says, the, hollow, the Hall of the Templars. So if anybody passing by, coming in here in Dole, this is called D-O-L-E, like being on the Dole, like you know, parasiting on somebody else, well, that's what they did. Then they know the road over there is going to the Templar stronghold where Jacques de Molay was. So this is the way they organize as well, you know. I'm trying to find some sort of a Templar's uh, stronghold here. But here, look, here's the stairway going up here. Shall I take it or not? What do you think? Oh, let's go. No, I can't resist it. Oh, let's have a look. Where this is going to. Mm. Go on, push this. Mm. Oh, it's quite old. Isn't it? Mm. Next to Dole. Wonder where I get, eh? This is it, the Templar stronghold. I don't know. Could be. So well, here it is. The uh, the village is even called Le Temple. Even the uh, the founder of the Templars, uh, uh, Jacques de um, 
Jacques de Molay. Here he is. Jacques de Molay. He was here. And it says that it is, uh, it is haunted. So I don't understand the, uh, the coat of arms. What is it? Uh, and it's next to the, the biggest, the second biggest uh, forest in Europe. It's amazing here, the, uh, really amazing. And uh, Philippe Lebel, they... Uh, uh, so, the King of France, it all says, I don't know how to film it. Like this. And the next line. No, I'll probably do it like this. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So, and it was built here um, during the Crusades, you know, 1132. 1291, very important date. Switzerland was founded and was the end of the um, of the crusade. Very important dates, you know, it's really... So here it is, behind the wall. Even the road is called uh, Rue de la Commanderie. I went to the tourist information, well, they didn't know anything about it. So this is really, I think this is the most important place of the Templars. There's a nice river just there, where the, where the trees end there, there's a nice river. And well, there it is, behind the bushes. So I'm gonna have a look. The octagon is here. <laughs> and uh, I, uh, this is, that's me. Pharaoh there, me here. And it says the people who, to whom it belongs now, it's uh, Roland Gobert. Roland, typical aristocratic name. Monique Roy. Gobert, roi, you know, the king. So, very aristocratic. Yeah. And uh, it says Chevalier, the, uh, the knights, and uh, Commanderie, that means the stronghold of the Templars. And uh, it's in Falton, La Commune de Falton. Saint-Denis, Saint Le Temple, that's why it's called that. Saint-Denis, Le Temple, Le Dole. Yeah, the, uh, the Order of Malta, it says. Uh, La Maison du Temple. Yeah. Yeah. So, again, this is very, very important, you know. This is why we had two world wars as a transition from the old world order to the new world order. Terre de Templier, the ground of the Templars. Terre de Mystère. L'Armo du Temple. Oh yeah, it's haunted. They have uh, strange animals like Le Vouivre. And um, it's haunted. So, well, these guys were completely into black magic anyway, you know. So, well, let's have a look. Shall we go? Rue de la Tuillerie, you know. So, that's where the king lived, I think, in, in his castle, La Tuillerie, in Paris. Very important. So this is all next to it, you know, there's a, uh, so here it is, I'm not sure if I can go in here, I think it's, uh, people are living here. So why is it haunted, you know, because like Freemasons do, you know, they do sacrifices, black magic, Satanism, as is still going on, especially in Switzerland today, that's why we had the, um, the satanic ritual on uh, June the 1st, uh, 2016. Uh, uh, sorry, 2000, yeah, 2016. I didn't have any access on a computer, so I couldn't make any videos about it. Uh, yeah, well, this is very, very important here. And it's next to the other temple, like in Salah and Laban, not very far. We even have a temple here, so they still have doing things here you now. Of course, the Freemasons are gathering together here. It's, it's very secluded here, you know, doing, oh, he looks like an Arab anyway, you know, like a assassin. And, uh, yeah, octagonal, yes it is. And, uh, yeah, you see there, there's a big Templars cross there, I don't know what they do with it. Yeah. Behind it. 
sure if I want to go in. At least not from this side. It looks still. Uh, There's a cross here, look at that. Very important place. Even Jacques de Molay was here, the founder of the Templars. It's just opposite the people. Uh, their name is La Croix. Well, what do you guess, eh? What do you know? It's just opposite this thing here. The cross. People are being called the cross. There it is, the cross. Looks, it looks evil. I, I, it feels no good here. Yeah. So, so these people of the cross are just living next to it. There. What does it say here? A lot of funny symbols. 1771. I H S. And the cross. Templars V. Mm. Uh, it says Commanderie temp, du Temple. Commanderie du Temple. What does it say? 1 1174 1132. Okay, 1132. I'm not sure this is old. Well, let's ring the bell then. I, somebody told me some English are living here. Uh, well, let's ring the bell. Okay. There you go. <laughs> for attaching the horses. There's another one there. Yeah. This is interesting. It looks like the Vatican, doesn't it? Like the keyhole. Why do they make this form like this? They don't do anything like this, you know, without a reason. Like the Vatican, you yeah. know? This is stables next to it. Well, even Jacques de Molay was here. So this is where the New World Order started, you know, just like the castle I filmed in the south and the temple next to it, they had a lot of stronghold, having contacts to each other. Well, I'm not getting in, you know, and there's nothing to see anyway. Uh, maybe there is, but I don't feel like it. So here's the old Templar wall, going all, all the way around it. Well, let's see to the end where it goes to. You know, it's uh, forbidden to get in, Pro private property, it even says danger. You know, they even dare to threaten us, you know, it's still the ones that, who are in power being here. So it's not this Lady Roi and, you know, which was uh, on the on the shield, there's some English people. But of course it's all the same, the same ones. So this is very, very important. And it seems like in the east of France, the northeast is a, is a big stronghold of the Templars here. And of course, Griou le Bain, the castle. Just behind it here is the river. It's le, even the village is called Le Temple, Commune de Falton, next to Dole, about five kilometers. Okay, and here's the side arm of the river. Yeah. So there is again the stronghold of the Templars. And this road is going to Dole, exactly where is the, uh, the Place of the Templiers, the Square of the Templars, the Rue de Templiers. Uh, the road of the Templars, everything. Exactly where this road is going, it ends up where all this is. If the tourist information, they couldn't tell me a word about it. So you have to find it all out yourself, you know. They didn't even know, you know. Well, they didn't seem like they wanted to work, you know. They just wanted to get their money and don't work at all. So, this road here is going exactly at that side of Dole where immediately you go you, it ends up at the road of the templars and the, the square of the templars and you know well this is the way they do it and uh, i saw somebody going in there Let's have a so that door there it's probably made new but anyway that was the entrance of the uh, of the order what do we see here it looks a bit like a fleur yeah it's a fleur de lis on both sides of course you see here's a fleur de lis and there's one and in the middle and uh, sort of a cross in the middle wow fascinating all these people still know what they're doing even if it's new you know uh, I should have a look but I, I, mean, I don't feel like climbing here 
for all the Very important here, very important. The founder of the Templars was here, Jacques de Malay. And these, I tell you again, these were the second and the third sons and the fourth sons who wanted to rule as well. And this is why the French king, they arrest, he arrested them all on Friday the 13th, or almost all. And he trialed them seven years later in 1314. And uh, 1307, when he arrested them, that was just 16 years after they already had founded Switzerland, so they were in safety. And they could prepare for the New World Order. This is where the New World Order started, partially, together with some other Templar sites, but this is a very important one. You can house a lot of guys in here, and the surroundings, even tents. Look, there's the well of the Templars. Another one probably next to it, or a grave. But that's the well of the Templars. Yeah. And there he is, here he is again, the Templar dude. Yeah. Looks like a Saracen to me. Very important. Just opposite this Templar stronghold. Probably noticed me hours before Templars there. So you see, I'm next to the uh, the Templars uh, stronghold where I uh, slept. Oh, look, this is a a safe. Somebody nicked a slave, tied it onto a rock, and dumped the rest in the lake here. <laughs> yeah, well, you see, it's all marshes. It's part of the river here. And on the other side is the biggest forest there. It starts there, of France. It goes for real big. It's the second largest uh, not pine trees uh, forest in France. And uh, well, the Templars, the New World Order started in France. And why in the east of France? Why there's so much in the east? Because in the Middle Ages, it was all forest and swamps and mountains, nothing. The, uh, the French kings, they were all in the west, you know, and in the, in the south, more in the west, uh, on the Loire River. So the primogenitura, the first sons, Le Dauphin, they were all in the west. So there was all forest, they could hide here, you know, and organize, and that's what they did, you know. It's still all forest in, in the east of France, you, you know, it's unbelievable. Uh, you wouldn't say so, you know, if you think of France, you think of Paris and, you know, the Mediterranean beaches, Nice. Uh, Arabs in the sand in Nice. <laughs> you know, but it's, it's all forest. It's, um, it's really um, uh, more than any, anywhere else, maybe, in Europe, that this way, mountains and forests. And in Italy, to the north of Italy. Would. So, yeah, and then they had to escape. And they went to Switzerland, where they realized the New World Order, and which is their base. So the New World Order started in France, and it got realized in Switzerland. And now the, uh, the, 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 the biggest military base is, of course, the United States, yeah? with all their obelisks and everywhere. But as you know, you know, um, it, it, it all came, the, the American Revolution, it all came from France, you know, against the English king. So, but Switzerland still is there, the most important base where it's all, where these sort of things all are, you know. Well, that's funny, next to the Templars uh, stronghold, I find a, a safe, yeah, quite rusty. And it's tied onto a rock, as if it wouldn't sink by itself, you know. You know, what, what, what you know, what, what, what would be needed to, to, to sink the other thing first, you know? Maybe um, it needs the safe to sink the rock with the rope on it, you know? Uh, I mean, these things are so incredible heavy. So next to the Templar stronghold, the Templar's treasure, and, you know, Switzerland, the base of it all, where well, the money is, I find this here. So I slept next to the Templar's uh, stronghold last night and this is these are all swamps next to the river it's quite a big river it's called Le Doux D-O-U-B-S 
Uh, it's called La Forêt de la Choux, the biggest forest in France and the second biggest uh, non-pine tree forest. I forgot the name of it. You know, all these trees with leaves on it that fall in winter. I forgot the name. Why? Wow, it's this kind of forest. It's really, it's huge. You can walk in there you know, for weeks and get lost. Here's the beginning of an immense forest. Well, here you won't see it even, but it's dense. But th this is only the beginning, you know. Immense. So I think in these days, you know, that's why the New World Order, they kept their forests. Because here they could organize in the east of France. Just as they make a terrorist attack on Friday the 13th. You know, they want to be reminded of. Amongst each other and... You know, and... I sh I've shown you now that the, the Templars really organize very strongly in the, uh, in the forest areas of the northeast of France. So and then Switzerland wasn't very far anymore. And they just uh, went over and made a, a holy or rather unholy alliance with Swissy, with the Swiss people. And mixed, breeded with them, you know, the Templars. So Switzerland, Suisse, they became the Sœurs d'Isis, the Sisters of Isis. Now, as their descendants, you know, what came out of it, the Freemasons, they all show this sort of Isis things, the whole, the whole, the whole pharaonic, I don't want to utter that word. <laughs> yeah, so east of France, it's, it's an incredible, large, big, huge forest, and I, it starts right there where this Templar thing is, you know, the Templar stronghold. So the, for me, there's no doubt at all that they keep it like this. That there's probably a lot of things here, uh, and not, a lot of hideouts in this forest, and they want to keep it like that, yeah? I mean, they got all the power to do so, and they say, well, we, we need to, we want to keep a forest somewhere, a big one, for the animals and all that, so we can, <laughs> we can go hunting. And actually, in the east of France, you know, the Frenchies, they don't even have money to pay thousand euros a year, you know, to go hunting. So it's all Swiss hunting in France and they're Templars. So nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. They got the dough, they come hunting. I've been talking with French hunters, they told me that. So French kings they were mostly in the west of France, on the Loire River where all the castles are. And the Templars were mostly hiding in the east and in the south of France in the northeast where they finally ended up and they uh, they crossed the uh, the border to Switzerland if uh, well there still is a natural border the Rhine and you know the the, 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 the mountains really start there you know so it's, it's a really fantastic stronghold you know and they had to make an alliance with Swissy you know and they did you know. and then they killed they killed the gypsies, the Jews, they killed the uh, 20, 28 million Russians and it goes on and it goes on. Now it's the Arabs turn. The Turks will be next. I tell you, they will be next. Erdogan is one of them. Oh yeah, oh here it says, there's some, well let's have a look what it says. So this just part of this huge f forest, it's, it's, uh, it's a section of it. And it's much larger. And this is the only road, you know, in it. Otherwise, afterwards, there are no more roads at all. So um, I, I don't even want to be there much longer. So, yeah. Good. So this is another, you know, another point, you know, that the, uh, they, the Templars concentrated so much, you know, before they here in the south, in the, in the, the large forest and swamps areas mountain areas in the uh, in the northeast of France in the Jura and the uh, Franche-Comté uh, Alsace and especially here and uh, before they uh, they crossed over to Switzerland so um, we can just follow the road the uh, the itinerary where they how they did it how it, how it all went you know very important uh, this is very important and I, I in salin le bain I really I really saw that there is a real big stronghold. There was a big stronghold in those days, and there still is of the Masons uh, before they crossed over. So here we can see the itinerary of the uh, 
of the uh, of the Templars who brought the new world order and who are aristocrats. Okay, let's go on. I, I still have to walk a long way uh, through marshes and f large forest areas. So I think I'm going to take this road up here, this path here. You remember the Cajun people and their lovely Cajun music and the uh, the Mississippi Delta and all that and the uh, who are f uh, French descent, New Orleans, it's Nouveau Orléans, it's French, you know. Uh, Orléans was also where the king was living, so he gave the name, you know. But anyway, uh, it's from the word Cajun, Cadien, they call themselves Cadien. And uh, they're probably the toughest people in the, in the entire United States, the way they're living and, and where well, you can see it, you know. Um, Tougher than the Texas Ranger, well, they are mostly Swiss, <laughs> like Alex Jones, yeah. And uh, tougher than the um, than the than the real hillbillies. These are these guys here are the tough as nails, and they they still live like this here. You know, it's like Cajun Cajun part, uh, country here. Look, it's, it's all it's like Mississippi. Here. They're all fishing here and, and hunting and uh, you know forests, lakes, river, water. Cold. It's it's very cold here. It gets <clears throat> it gets colder here than in Scandinavia, I think. Because we are in the south of Scandinavia, it's a lot of uh, sea climates, you know. But here it's get real cold. Eh? It's mountainous. It's it's a land climate. So this is like Cajun people here, really. The toughest nails. Not like you imagine a French, like you know, uh, like a, a puff bastard from Paris, you know, uh, and a macho guy from from the Mediterranean. Oh no, <laughs> this is different. Yeah. Absolutely different. And uh, yeah, wow. Okie dokie, that's enough. Yeah, of course I meant Louisiana, Louisiana. That's where the uh, that's probably the toughest Yanks you can get. And uh, they are French origin, you know, the guys who can survive and, you know, and eating snakes and crocs and... Well, there are no crocs here, fortunately, but um, I, I, this is where they go from, get from. And they call it Louisiana because of the French King Louis, who called it New Orleans because of Nouveau Orléans, that's where he was living. Yeah. Right. So it's like Louisiana, it's just slightly bit colder. It was the other place yesterday where yesterday where I tried to sneak in like there through the uh, the arches there. I think it was there. Uh, yeah. Actually, these guys here they have a saying in this area. It's it's like this. It's old French. It's "Con toi, rend toi, ne ni ma foi," and it means uh, "Con toi." This is the area here. It means you, you can you can give up and surrender. Yeah, you can surrender. But don't give up your willpower. It's like what I did, you know, I I got imprisoned by the Swiss but I they didn't get my willpower. I'm still here. Hey Swiss eh? Uh, interesting the word uh, Cajun, it it came back into French like Cajun, but it's it's from the English, you know, uh, English word Cajun. But they call themselves Cadien, actually. And uh, the word Can Canadi Canadian, Canadian, it's from there. They also call themselves Cad Cadien. So the word Can Canada is actually from Louisiana, <laughs> which is probably from here. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, that's it. So I hear this road going to this Templar stronghold. It's called Rue de la Résistance. Now I, now I know what they mean. It's not the Second World War, the Resistance Road. It's the Resistance by the Templars, of course, who made the Second World War. And this is the road going there. And on the other side is the Templar Road, the Templar's Place, all the, the, the commanderie. Well, yeah, there you go. On the other side, uh, you know, uh, still next to it, like the Resistance Road. You know, there's Pharaoh. Yeah, there he is. It's all Pharaonic Templars. And this is the Grail. That means our blood is here, our descendants is here. Sort of a castle, I don't know what. Probably more to see. 
uh, what does it say, MS? Yeah, interesting. So there's the road to the Templar stronghold. You know, with the tele lens I've got on it, it should be entirely visible the dark side of the moon, but I don't see anything. It's all entirely blue. Uh, especially after 9-11 that, you know, everything is a lie, you know, it's, it's so clear. Uh, maybe if I look at the monitor I can see something, but I don't think there's anything. And this light, they say this is a reflection of the sun, but the sun is out, you know. It's on the other side, so it should be shining on the moon entirely, but it doesn't. It's all a lie. And this light, you know, it's like an LED lamp, you know, it's shining so bright, you know, this is not the reflection of some sun, you know, in the night. It's something else. This is the only light, the only tunnel, it looks like a tunnel. This is the only tunnel that, you know, people have been describing with a near-death experience, you know, going in there. Uh, a, a tunnel, like opening up and closing down. I should have a look at the monitor. But this is a quite, you know, it's a good tele lens on it. Uh, it. It should perfectly show the dark side of the moon, but there isn't. Or maybe this one is the light, the heavens, the paradise, where there's light. It's shining light, a lot of light, you know, like in the night, which is not the reflection of the sun. Bull. Look, it's all blue on the other side. It has even been shown clouds on the other side of the moon. Now, and the, uh, the other planet around us, that's the fire. The fire of hell. Probably. I mean, look, the light is here. The bright light, paradise, and the other one is the fire. This, this, is, this is what they've been talking about all these years, you know, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey. Here in the east of France, next to Besançon, there's a place called the Dam Martin of the Templars. Dam Martin, le Templier. Tem Templier is the French word for Templars. This uh, building here is called the Temple, from the Templars. Here you can see the, uh, the Swiss cross, absolutely. And there in the window, as I filmed before, you know, the, um, the Freemason uh, skirts, as I showed in Griot le Bain, you know, with the, um, the Templar's V in it. So this is a, temp uh, a Freemason Templar's lodge, there's no doubt at all, uh, here in Salin le Bain. Oh, here it says something about the Templars, just pause it. So here, from this side, it looks more like a Templar's cross, of course. And it's, there you are. But it's the Swiss on a temp. it's like on the Swiss army knife. It's even called Rue du Temple, the Templars, well, the Lodge of the Templars. And here it is. Old, it's very old. From the, uh, yeah, from the first crusades on. This is where they also, where they organized. And this place is very important because they found uh, salt here. Salin, Le Bain, that's where they, a lot of salt. So they got very rich also with this here, with the salt business. And again, the Freemasons are here. There's no doubt about that. So this was the Templar's Chapel here. And it's in very bad condition here. Uh, it's empty. 
So this is still a Freemason lodge, there's no doubt about that. Uh, here's when they probably went up the stairs. And that's where the king was, you know, the first, the primogenitura, the first sons. They took castle here, you know, enclosing the valley. And um, so while these guys were down in the village, you know, conspiring against the king quite openly, uh, well, not entirely openly, well, the cross is too small, the Templar's cross. So here was the Templar's cross here, and this is the building. So just under his nose they were conspiring. And this is not very far from that other town uh, called uh, Dam Martin of the Templars. Uh, but there wasn't very much more to see there. Uh, next to here there's also a Jesuit chapel. I'm going to have a look at it now. And of course the curtains are like in a V form of the Templars. And it's red and white for the United Kingdom of Pharaoh. Red and white, as always. I don't know what that means, it's only red. Well, red are actually the... Uh, it's uh, Lower Egypt and there are fewer of them. They are the first sons. Oh, one night later, the same moon. <laughs> it's midnight. There's no sun, and they say, well, it's the sun shining on it. Well, there's a completely different angle now. There's no sun at all. But it's still the same. Before, the sun was in a different angle. It was just, was in the sky. Now there's no sun. So, how come it's still the same crescent moon or half moon? It says this is a Jesuit church in uh, Salin Laban. Oh, you can read it. It doesn't say very much in English. Eglise Notre Dame. So there you go. This is a Jesuit church. This is place is really a stronghold of uh, evil. You know the Templars and you know, Freemasons very rich because of the salt which was the gold of like of the middle ages the gold you know and uh oh, yes here jesuit shows and as you know the jesuits they were assigned you know to there's even the uh, the sun hieroglyph here the jesuits were assigned you know by the pope to kill all the protestants to get rid of them the guys who, uh, you know, who really looked into the Bible and what it is, you know. So this is the other castle enclosing the valley with another king, you know. While downtown the, uh, the Freemasons, uh, like the Templars, they were all like conspiring against them. And this is another f Jesuit chapel just right next to the other one. The other one is there, you know, you see the church here. That's the Templars church. This is another Templars uh, sorry, a, um, a Jesuit church, and this is another Jesuit chapel, it says. Uh, let's have a closer look. Real, it's an evil place here in the northeast of France, but the people are quite nice. Here it says the Jesuits came here in 1623, so that's five years after the beginning of the Thirty Year War, where Swiss mercenaries killed, you know, like uh, two thirds of the German population. So this is in the northeast of uh, France. It's not very far from Switzerland. There's a lot of Swiss, you know, buying houses here and properties here. So that's the old Jesuit door. You know, real evil guys. Uh, this is the whole building here. It's, it's all very old here. So d d just think of the Pope's guard, you know, of the Vatican. There's all Swiss. So, probably crawling with Swiss here, in those days, you know. Again, the Templar's Chapel. This is place in the northeast of France, not very far from Switzerland. Really is a stronghold of 
Templars, Jesuits, the, the, the two Jesuit churches next to each other. The Freemasons still are there. You could see that on the curtains. Um, a very important place and it's crawling with Swiss anyway. Uh, very near to the Swiss border, yeah, as always. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know. What a weird statue also in Salin Le Bain, the Pope with sort of an extraterrestrial ear. Hey, a man, man, man. What happened to humanity, eh? There's still the castle here. Oh. One lord on this side here and another lord on the other side. And in the middle here is the town. It seems like there's nothing on the dark side of the moon. Absolutely nothing. Well, there's nothing on the other side of the dark side of the moon. There's nothing. I got a big tele lens on it. After 9-11, oh, today it is 9-11, in fact, uh, 2016. Well, we know it's all a lie. They lie about everything, and we are their slaves. That's why you have a personal slave number, you know, on your passport, anything. And if there's a, con a control of the, um, the Knights of the King, you know, that you have to show it, you know. And they put a bloody chip in it, which you should grill it like in a microwave. Uh, yeah. So this is a map of um, this is the place Salin Le Bain. So this is the other castle on the hill, and here is this castle here, number ten. You see, number ten, and here it says number ten. It's owned privately. Mm. Uh, somewhere there. Uh, there it is. Private, privé. So, what is Pharaoh doing there, you know? There he is. With the Freemason Lodge. Here, look, look at the bridge here. You, know, you never get in here. So what are they doing here, you know? With the Freemason Lodge below. An old Templar's reunion place, you know? Poor children. They always did this, you know, with children and torturing us, these pharaohs and the arist who became the aristocracy. They are the ones who have always been doing this and they continue to do so. And on top of it, you can see the, uh, the pharaonic flag, blue, uh, red, white and blue. The pharaonic colors, red and white of the United Kingdom and blue for the war. And they're up, to, up for war now. Everywhere you see the, uh, uh, the, um, the French flag everywhere. There's a war coming up. Concentration camps put the Muslims in there this time. Look, it looks like a Freemason lodge here. What a weird place, man. This is an entrance of a house here. What a weird place. What is this, man? Okay. Ouais, quand il y a beaucoup de pluie, en fait, l'eau elle arrive jusqu'ici, jusqu'au travers qu'on voit tout le long. Et en fait, à ce niveau-là, À niveau d'ici, l'eau elle s'arrête, elle, elle ouvre comme ça, il y a 2-3 cm d'eau par pouce. Alors ici, ils ont lavé les cadavres Ici, oui, ils lavaient les cadavres, les cadavres dans le temps, et puis en fait, les caves ici, c'était où ils ont placé les morts en fait. So here we're next to the, uh, the Templar's place here, and they used to wash the bodies here, in, the, in this water here. And the guy says, when it rains a lot, the water gets all the way to, the, uh, to here. But 
funny enough, it it gets very high, but it doesn't it doesn't go to the other caves here. It just stops here, which is like um, um, impossible to uh, to understand. It's it's. So the water gets that high, so logically it would, you know, would get everywhere. So in this house there's a lot of drug addicts and a lot of, he's one of them, and uh, next to the Templars, and, and I mean, they make all the money with it, you know, they, they give uh, social security to the, uh, the drug addicts so they can um, exploit the, the drugs coming from Afghanistan, and uh, which the Taliban actually... Uh, um, they forbid it. Yeah. Okay. Merci. Très intéressant. Well, you can clearly see the cloud is behind the moon. The moon is, I don't know, what is it, 100,000 kilometers away or a million kilometers. And the cloud is behind there? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, the cloud is behind the moon. Everything is a lie. Yeah. Look, there's a village here. I'm, I'm, I'm not joking. So I'm here back in this town here. I came here by accident almost, you know, like in Salle le Bain in the east of France where here yeah, you can see the big Swiss cross and behind it you know there's a Jesuit chapel and next to it the Jesuit uh, church it looks like a barrack so in those times you know of the 30 year war 1618 to 1648 these were the barracks it was full of Swiss mercenaries you know where they were like uh, preparing for the raid on Germany killing 20 million uh, Germans and uh, occupying a huge lump, a, a huge chunk of Germany, you know, being like a uh, uh, a buffer zone. So why is there a Swiss cross? Of course, you know, and um, under it's all under Templar command. So this is this town here, where there's here a Templar's chapel. It looks like a barracks, and next to it as well. I can't, you know. Uh, there's the sun shining in it so and next to it here well you can hear it ringing there's a no it's another one uh, that, that one there there's the the temple the jesuit uh, church and behind that there's a a temple of the templars and a chapel of the Temp templars which already filmed before this is a very important town here uh because of the uh because of the salt was found here. So here we also find the origins actually, the Templars, the Jesuits, you know, the Jesuits were a military order with a general and a black Pope, who's now the Pope Francis, you know, we saw him this year in an airplane, he said, well, oh, the homosexuals, they're sweet guys, he said, you know, like sort of, and uh, uh, we must just let them live and, you know, they're sweet boys and all that, you know. So that's a guy who believes, he sort of says he believes in God's creation. Well, oh, get out of there, you know. Come on. Of course he doesn't. And anyway, those homos don't, you know, because that was not God's creation, you know. Two guys, you know, behind each other. No. Well, that's the Templars, actually. Two guys behind each other on a church, like. And um, so here's the Swiss cross. And here we find also the origins of the Second World War and the, all the genocides going on. And here was sort of the, uh, there was a genocide on the, uh, on the Germans this time. And uh, they're the ones. So I didn't see it the last time when I was filming. I saw it when I, when I looked at the, uh, the footage and some good YouTubers, YouTubers, they told me about it as well afterwards. And uh, I, you know, if you're filming, sometimes you don't see it. You're so busy. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't even see it. It's so big, you just walk past it, you know? It's just too big. A Swiss cross here. This is a Swiss cross, you know, and it's even it's white, even. 
Templars, the Jesuits, it's all Swiss. And now the, uh, the Islamic State, well there are two Islamic States, there's the real one and the one infiltrated, well that's also Swiss, financed by the Swiss Templars. They're behind it all, I tell you. So here are we, the Europeans, sleeping outside. Uh, and there are many more, you know, this is a bit of it. After, just behind the second bridge here, in Strasbourg, there is the, uh, the center where they, like, sort of hatch the new, uh, the new eggs, you know? These reptilians or whatever they are. Um, where they, the, it's a school called Lena. And they are in a Templar's building. That's what I was telling you. Freemasons. They came out of the Templars, so they still are in the same building. That's what I've been telling you all the time. How many times do I have to tell you this? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Old Templars from the 11th century. And uh, all French presidents, they pass by these sort of schools. The other school is called uh, Sciences Po. All, all of them. Oh, they're nice here, like at the River Nile, you know, all these towers, it was a prison, there it is, you know. Europeans sleeping outside under the bridges. These are our masters, yeah. I don't know really what it shows. I have to watch the images, you know, afterwards. Looks nice. Yeah. Cameras all over, you know. Yeah. And there are more. And this is like the bars where they hang out. I saw them yesterday. You know, there and over there is another one. That's where the young pharaohs hang out. It says cold passion. Oh, I'd rather have a hot one. <laughs> you know. Being back in good old Switzerland, eh? Your pharaohs. That's why they pick this sort of place. I know this place in Switzerland is exactly like this. Tourists tourist here. Towers, you know. It used to be a prison. It's really a, a very strong point of uh, power. Very strategical. This is a Templars building. From the 11th century, rebuilt in the 16th century. And... Uh, as you can see here, it's probably a boarding school as well. Look at it. Got their stuff in the fridge outside. And if there would be really some Muslimic, Muslimic terrorists, you know, they would attacking. They would be attacking this instead of some long-haired, heavy metal uh, kids in the in Paris attending a uh, a rock concert with long hair. You know, these are the type of people with the long hair and the kids that these ones here don't want so you know so I'm gonna film the other side as well yeah, it's Quai de Malte next to the the Templars building of the New World Order and where there's bridges on the other side <laughs> the, ah. so that means the, the Maltese Riverside yeah well, that's what it is, yeah. That's where they're situated, yeah. Of course, like the Order of Malta, that's another Templar's order. Because when they were booted out of Jerusalem, you know, and after the, when they went to Switzerland, they, they, they stayed in Malt, you know, in, in, the, in the middle of the Mediterranean, which is still, it belongs to, to the Queen, British Queen. So that's the Maltese riverside from the other side. There's probably more to see, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to walk there. You see, it's all—it's a fortress. The whole thing is a fortress, you know. And Jerry's probably where. And behind there, where the antenna is, there are the, uh, the a big gendarmerie. So it's very strategical, you know. The knights of the uh, the king's knights are just behind the corner. So I'm getting through this medieval Templars bridge, going to the other side. I'm slowly getting there. You know, all these weird things here. 
fair run, you know, with a lion, with a sphinx there. Here too. So, and of course, you know, at the entrance, I, I do French and English at the same time because I can only film that once before they boot me out. That's quite sure. So this is the other side. Here's the, uh, the bridge here. And there's the, uh, the cops are there. You see all the, the blue vans here. And uh, they're not here to help. The cops are not here to help the poor people, you know, sleeping under the bridge. Yeah, they probably boot them out again. Poor guy sleeping outside. There's boot outside of his, at the uh, camera looking at watching him. Just right there where they forged the new French president, you know, where the aristocracy is. These, where the kids of the pharaoh, the aristocratic pharaohs, where they are being formed, right here. And there's the main police station behind it here, the building there, where you see the... I'm not getting any close of where the flags are, real big. I'm not going to film it, or maybe I am. You see, that's, it's a huge police barracks. They also live here, just like the, uh, the future French presidents, they live here, you know. And, um, you see, I'm not going to stay here too long. And the school is just behind here, you see. They, they put the king's, uh, the king's knights, you know, just next to the school. This was here first. And they completely, they put the other thing next to it, you know. So to, well, you have to uh, secure the safety of your kids, you know. My, somebody might come, might get some bad ideas. Cops coming up, you know. Better stop now. And then again, I, uh, the flag here on the thing here, it's, called, it's showing crowns, you know, there, crowns. That's Pharaonic flag, I'll show that in, the, uh, in uh, my videos, right. So that says, the Prime Minister, <laughs> yo, that says, this is like Nicole National, the National Administration School, they use a euphemism for it, you know. And there it says too here, there's a thing here. Yeah. Prime Minister. And the whole building belongs to it here too. Yeah. Where is this, this building too, eh? Alors, ça ici, je vais pas rester trop longtemps. Premier ministre. That guy is already coming here. English. No, French. Speak English. What do you want? What do you want? No, French. English. No, French. No, English. Uh, no, uh, no English. Yeah, well, yeah. too bad. Okay. So I'm here inside the building. Really very interesting. It's all the triangle. Fascinating. So these, these are the signatures of the... This is quite old. Uh, probably from the 11th century, where the um, the guys who um, who did the uh, the stonework, where they put their signature on it, and you can see the um, the Templars V on it two times, one upside down and one the other way around, and uh, with a cross. So, so here are the keys of the prison. Uh, and here, it used to be a prison afterwards, and here are the, uh, the chains, the chain gang. And uh, so they use this in the, the door here as a, as a remembrance of what it was before. And there's the, what it is now, it's a school on the right side here inside. And that symbolizes the prison there, what it used to be. It's sort of broken. So the guy uh, who opened the door for me and uh, who let me in, he was very friendly. I promised not to fill him, film him. He was seven years in the police and he is a Templar. He's in the, in the Templar's order. 
and of course the door you saw, I couldn't say it because he was standing next to me. Uh, the keys you saw, it means like in this school where the, the new leaders, the new rulers are being formed, it means we have the key and the chains, it means you are imprisoned, you are the enchained, you know, in, in chains, that's what it meant. So there you get some information about it, Commanderie Saint-Jean, yeah, Lena, there it is, oh, from the top, the bottom, yeah. well anyway, you can look it up yourself, you know, but the, um, uh, if there really would be like, you know, Muslim terrorists, you just saw the, uh, the Muslim in a uniform, you know, so why would they have their children, you know, be protected by the by a guy they have put in a, a Muslim Arab, they put in a uniform, you know, because there are no Muslim terrorists, there are none. These are the most important. These are the children of Pharaoh, you know, being formed to be the king, you know, the, for four, five, or seven years. And you think that really, if there would be Muslim terrorists, you really think that they would, you know, they would uh, put an Arab in a uniform to protect their children? It's all a lie. You can see that. It's a lie. It's a lie. They lie, they lie, they lie. There are no Muslim terrorists. They do it themselves. It's a lie. You know, and just think about the euphemism. They call it the, uh, the National Administration School. <laughs> It's more like the, uh, um, they put us all in chain school, you know. We saw the chains. And actually the chains, you can only see them from the inside. So only actually, you know, not from the, the outside. So they can see them, you know, when the door is closed. So they can, it's a message to themselves, you know. And uh, it's a euphemism. An administrative school, come on. I have a slight idea that these Templars, they must be here somewhere because they left their sword here. Ah, there they are. Yeah. Look, here it still says Maison Rouge. Here used to be the Hotel Maison Rouge. Now it's here the, uh, um, it's the FNAC. There it is, FNAC and all this, the whole building here. And this is where in the last weeks of the war in 1945, the elusive octagon, they came together. And, um, you know, this is why they call it Maison Rouge. It means the red house which is uh, Lower Egypt, the Per Tasser, not a house to live in, but a, uh, a royal house, just like the White House, the, uh, the Per Het. So they all come together, and this is why they call it the, the Red House of the Red Lineage of the Pharaohs, you know. And here it says Orange, like the, uh, the royal house of the, of, the, uh, of the Low Countries, I think it's called, uh, yeah. So they came here together and they said, well, what, can, what are we going to do with all the, all the money we stole, you know, the, the gold of the Jews and the, uh, the gold reserves of France and Poland and everywhere, everything. So they said, well, we're going uh, <clears throat> to put it in Switzerland and in Liechtenstein, which is a, a principality. There's a prince, you know. So here's a sort of a, uh, sort of a square, you know, it's called... Uh, the uh, plus clay bear and uh, maybe the cops are demonstrating they they were demonstrating it with guns and all and the uh, police cars and all that ah <laughs> so there it is again on the square maison rouge the red house the red house pharaohs and actually about the red house and the white house you know the red house were actually the um, the original pharaohs you know and the White House, they were the, uh, the revolutionary ones, or the second and the third sons. And that's why there's a White House in, uh, uh, in, in Washington, D.C., actually. They already started a sort of a new world order, because the second and the third sons, they wanted to rule too. And uh, that's why they went south to a place called Amarna. So here's that square, and here they gather together in a hotel that used to be here on the Place Playbear in uh, Strasbourg in France. The elusive octagon. This is the last time, you know, well, uh, it, it got obvious because it was a French uh, 
uh, secret agent was there, and he heard it all, where they um, they surfaced um, above the water, you know, like, well, I know more about them and I've, I've seen them more, like, afterwards, but officially that was the last time. Yeah, look. Liberty, equality, fraternity with the pharaonic Isis and the pharaonic flag here. So this is a French school, you know. So in a, they, they show, they, they don't want to have any Muslim children or Muslim girls with the headscarf, you know, in the, the what do they call it, the, uh, the burqa. But at the same time, you know, all these new worlds, all this shit they show, you know. But what is it actually? What is the liberty? equality and fraternity that's only that the between the firstborn son the primogenitura and the second and the third born son that they have equality they're all the same and they all can be the king and there's fraternity they can all be the king for a period of four five or seven years and they're going to vote and the fraternity there are no more fratricide you know or brother killings and liberty, they're all free. They don't have to go into a monastery. That's what it means. Liberty, equality, fraternity. Just like the democracy is not for us. It's for our, for our masters, uh, pharaonic masters. So they can be chosen, you know, elected democratically. It's not for us, only for them. And the moment they're elected, they do what they want anyway. So there are three flags. I don't know, it's, it's a... Alsatian flag and a, and the pharaonic flag and a European flag It's all the same. Well, Lycée. It says Lycée. That's a school, you know Look, there's a crown in the Alsatian flag, you know, what do you, what do you want, you know? The gold probably represents the white, so that's red and white The old colors of the of the uh, Of the aristocracy School Yeah, you know, look even Freemason checkerboards in the real good colors, red and white. These are the, the, the real pharaonic colors, as in a Freemason lodge, but you, you, won't, you won't always find, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the black stones, you know, full of cameras for the kids, or so they can get used to it already, you know. Ah. Okay. So the sea is over there. Oh, you see, oh, you can see, see some ships. Uh, the mountains are all over there. Yeah. And here's the Templar's church. I'm here in an old Templar church of the Knights Templars at the Via Templare, Templars Road in Albenga, Italy, where the Knights Templars went through bringing the Templar's treasure from Pharaoh's Egypt into Switzerland, founding the Swiss banks with it. Listen to the prayer inside the Templar's church. So this is a Templar's church. It's uh, near between Seriale and Albenga, already filmed in Albenga, some Templar stuff, you know in 2014 um, it's closed so this is probably up uh, it well it's um it will open up on saturday i'll try to come back on saturday if i'm still here um, so there's an italian cemetery there are no obelisks so this is on the way you know from rome and sicily and jerusalem going uh, to switzerland so that's why there's so many germans and swiss in the mountains I even just talked to a duke before. Um, yeah, we get some more stuff on it. So this, as you can see, it's a very old church. It's a Templar's church uh, in Italy, in the north of Italy, in Liguria, uh, on the way to Switzerland, between Jerusalem and Switzerland. So here they, you know, you can see there's a lot of mountains here. It's even snow tipped. You can see there, you know. so it's uh, a, good, a lot of good places to hide stuff right? before they bring it to Switzerland. As I showed you before in some videos in 2014. Ah, there's the old Templar's door. 
I probably fixed it with a new one in it. So this Chiesa di San Giorgio. It's from the uh, the 11th century. Well, the one in France, in uh, I filmed. That was with the pentagram in front of it. it was all Century. Jesus Christ and dear God, the Creator of all, please free us, me and my family, from the Swiss evil, whose hearts are full of hatred, whose tongues only tell lies. And where lies accumulated wealth of the world. Well, that's the other side of the church. You can see it's very old. You can see that the pillars, the six bows. And apparently, this one here is Saint Christoph. It's the one who protects the travelers. The travelers. <laughs> so I made it. I'm inside the Templars church. I just asked some people and well, puff, they said, okay, you know, it's possible. In Italy, everything is always possible, you know? Not like in Switzerland, you know, they're all by the rule or, you know. And um, well, this is all in Italian. As she said here, so it is a Templar's church, even the road next to it is called the, uh, the Templar Road, going to Jerusalem. So here she said, the woman was really nice, that's my backpack. And she said, well here is the, this is very old, it's like um, you know, a thousand years old or something, and it's, it's showing the uh, uh, hell. You know? And there are the, this is, this is the mouth of hell. And here you can uh, purify yourself and then go to heaven. And of course in heaven there is a king. Uh, <laughs> the king. Pharaoh. Now, there's a lot of symbolics here. Uh, I probably don't see it now. I have to look at it later. You know, then I always see this, this symbolic of... Uh, Symbology of things, you know. Oh, this is the little door I just saw before. And, uh, yeah. Very old. But the other one in France was much older. I filmed. There was, uh, uh, the one in France was destroyed by the Saracens, by the Arabs in 900. So, it's interesting. 200 years before the Crusades, the Arabs completely, you know, they had a jihad going on in Europe, you know, and completely destroyed the village of uh, the town of Manosk, like. Uh, well, it's all in Italian. I film it, so if you, you know, like if you read Italian, well, good luck to you. wrong this is actually this is the little Templar's door here <laughs> or whatever people were small in those days so it says Valle you know <laughs> that reminds me you know like here Manuel Manuel Valls he's the Prime Minister of France They're all Templars you know and he's like buried in this church or I mean the people with the same family name I mean it must be very influential, you know, to be buried in a, in a church like this. And this is not, it was 1926, you know, 1973, so that's not long ago. Only Templars get buried here. Well, I could mount on the table and, you know, like have a better view, but no, I prefer not, maybe. And it's very hard to see, but you, you, you see that bird there? It's 
very hard to see from down here. And this is interesting. You see the skull? Yeah, it's Templar stuff, you know, with the skull. That's why they blindfold, you know, the Templars. Uh, the, uh, the Masons, this is Masonic stuff. And here, so first there's the, the king, the pharaoh. Oh, where is he? Uh, oh, there he is. And above it is Ma'at. So the, the, you know, with the scales and the swords. Well, she looks like Madonna, you know, with the wings and everything, or like, you know, all those pop stars, you know, exactly the same thing. In a, uh, in a Templar's costume, more like a knight, you know, you see that? Yeah. And above that, I'll just take another. So above that, you know, there's a guy with a snake around it. You see the snake here? The Oroboro. You know, it's a diabolical symbol. I think there was the head of the snake somewhere. So this is not God. This is the devil. And of course he is, you know, because this is Swiss. This is Templar stuff. Is that a head? No, it looks like a head. They believe in the devil, you know, the Templars. And uh, on top of the devil, there's the octagon, octagon, with another dude in it. It would be very interesting, you know, to uh, be able to uh, to read this here. I probably see that later, and there in the book. Oh, look at Templar's Cross. Yeah. It's probably the, the, the satanic stuff of the, their, their satanic Bible of the Templars, you know. Yeah, and then the devil in the Oroboro, you know, he's in an oval. He's having the oval office up there. See? It's all aristocracy, pharaohs, you know, and then... Um, uh, well, that, that, that's us, that's mankind lying there, getting killed by the aristocracy, with the pharaonic stuff and the devils. So the woman that opened the church for me, is, here's the church, it said, this is Via Templare. So this is the Templars Road, this one here, going to the one side to Albanga and to Switzerland, and the other side is going to uh, Jerusalem or Egypt, of course, you know, as we just saw Ma'at in the church as well. So this is the Via Templare, as she told me. So this is the very old Templars church. Jesus Christ, the dear God, the Creator of all, please free us, me and my family, from the Swiss evil, whose hearts are full of hatred, whose tongues only tell lies, and while lies and Lucifer's accumulated wealth of the world. Devil, thy name is Swiss. Satan, thy house is Switzerland. Please set us free from Swiss bondage and the Swiss terror. Amen.